everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Mindset. Glad you stopped by. You know, if you've uh, had a, had news on or been on the internet or anything at all lately, you probably know that right now our uh, Senate Judiciary Committee is in the middle of a confirmation hearing for a Supreme Court justice. Um, and uh, so Amy, Amy Coney Barrett is, is going through this process right now. And um, over and over again, uh, she is restating that she doesn't deal in hypotheticals as she's asked questions. She says, you know, um, the, the jurist's um, job is to take the law and apply the law to specific situations that come before them. And uh, um, so, and, and that is her job. Their job is not to, to write new laws. Their job is not to um, inject their own opinions into the law, but their job is to take a given situation that's argued before them by, by attorneys and apply that law to, to that specific situation and make a ruling based upon that information. And, and it made me think about the Word of God. You know, when Christ uh, he came and he told him in Matthew chapter 5, he said, I have not come to um, abolish the law or the prophets. I've come to fulfill that law. And he says that not a, a jot or a tittle, um, not the least little marks, not the dot of the I or a cross of a T uh, in our language, maybe, if that makes more sense to you. None of that will pass away until, until all this is completed. Um, and, and we're told uh, in, in Deuteronomy and, and in Proverbs chapter 30, we're told not to, to add to or take away from the Word of God, um, but, but to keep the commands that the Lord has given us. And in Revelation chapter 22, uh, John wrote in verse 18 and 19, I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this scroll, if anyone adds anything to them, God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes words away from this scroll of prophecy, God will take away from, from that person any share on the tree of life in the holy city, which are described in this scroll. And, and so throughout Scripture in different places, Christ tells us that he's there to fulfill the law and uh, not to add to or take away from. And we're told not to add to and take away from ourselves, from the from the Word of God. And so that's the, that's the reminder of the day and the caution. Um, we can look at sources to, to better understand Scripture, and we can look to uh, um, guidance from others that, that are, are wise in the Scripture, but be careful. Always check what you're being told, that we're not adding to um, with opinions, uh, adding to the Word of God. And we're not taking away things from saying, well, that, you know, that doesn't apply anymore, or, or whatever the case is. But the, the Old Testament is to be interpreted by the New Testament along the way as Christ completes or fulfills that law, and, and nothing is to be added to or taken away from that. Um, so that, that's the challenge. As you study your Bible, as you, as you listen to, to your, your pastor, as, you, as you're in a Bible study, whatever the case is, that, that we are applying the law of God as it's written, that we aren't adding to and taking away uh, based upon our own thoughts or opinions or ideas, but what the, the Word of God means, we're applying that to the situations in our life. Have a great day.